So welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, I thought we could check out the latest featured server for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. The new server that was recently introduced is called Pixel Paradise. I think that is an absolutely brilliant name, however, I've seen on social media and on YouTube, this server is not getting very good publicity. In fact, it's being branded as the worst server many people have played on. Now again, I never checked this out. So I'm going into this with an opened mind. I'm also typically not someone who does a lot of server content. I do play them from time to time in my spare time or off recording, or in fact, in recording, you've seen them on gameplay commentary videos as, as the backdrop. So this server is available for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, so iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation versions. Now, as you know, as a Minecraft Bedrock player, we have the featured servers section. This means all of these servers that we're about to check out and go over and talk about have been verified by Minecraft and by Microsoft to be in this featured servers section as apparently like the best servers available. It turns out that one of these servers is definitely not deserving to be here. I'll talk about my past experience and why I don't play specific servers anymore. Mineplex. I absolutely loved this server when it first released. It was up there with the best. I, in fact, I really, really loved, I think it was Cake Wars. Cake Wars. Amazing game mode. Then this server got riddled with hackers. Every time I played it, my cake was literally covered in end portal frames. And I lost interest. And I'll be honest with you, I've not played Mineplex since. The Galaxite server, it's still relatively new. And I'll be honest with you, it's a pretty, pretty solid server. They've got Hyper Races, never really played that too much. But they've got some other game modes that I have played in, in the past. I think it's got things, I, I'm not sure if it's got survival games like a Sky Wars based, but Galaxite is still a pretty good server. Lifeboat. Now this server has been around since like the beginning of time. Since Minecraft Pocket Edition started, I remember Lifeboat as the main server. It's only got like 5,000 people on right now. It used to hit like 20 to 30,000. Um, I think it's a good server. I enjoy their battle royale. They have some other game modes, but I'll be honest with you. I feel like some of their game modes were pretty rushed. And I kind of lost interest. Cubecraft, great server, nearly 20,000 online. Another absolutely solid server. I love their, their survival games. I play a lot of their Lucky Islands. And again, you see a lot of the gameplay in my gameplay commentary videos. It's, it's usually the server. It's just really easy and friendly to play. The Hive MC. This is the best server in the featured servers tab. Every single server that wants to be a featured server needs to be as good, if not better, than Hive MC. Now, I play a lot of their games. I think they're brilliant. I know the people who own Hive. They are so talented. Their Sky Wars is great. Their Hide and Seek is great. We played the Sonic event. Again, every single server needs to be the Hive or better. Let's talk about Mineville, shall we? This is... Uh, a role-playing server. I, I played it once and, and once was enough. Now, I have no problem with the whole role-play thing. It's just not for me to be specific. But it also has some other things available here, right? You've got the high school, which is role-play. You've got skyblock. You've got city. You've got prison. And you've got dungeons, right? So these are all mini-games. Not all of them are role-play based. These are also mini-games as well. A little bit of context behind Mineville. Mineville originally was called in pvp i have no idea why they rebranded to in pvp mineville city it's known as mineville no longer known as in pvp why i have no idea alongside lifeboat in pvp was there from the beginning as a fantastic server but again they've rebranded we now have pixel paradise it's a brand new server currently has 1285 people online and like I said, this server is receiving a lot of bad backlash. You only need to head over to their Twitter or take the time to go on YouTube and just type in Minecraft Pixel Paradise. The video responses are not very good. Now, you got to remember, if you're a server, 
the people who play this server who are big YouTubers or big creators or big streamers who literally advertise these servers for free, if they're saying your server is bad, then there is a serious problem. This is their Twitter page. It's Pixel Paradise by NPVP, a Minecraft Bedrock featured server. It is very, very new. So let's find out why people are not enjoying it. Welcome to Pixel Paradise. Hello, travelers. Welcome to our role-playing resort. We hope you have a fun time throughout our island and finding all of the secrets we've hidden around it. Check out the amazing modes, islands and volcano. Paid. But also our fun free micro games like Spleef and TNT run for free. Forever, we hope you enjoy your stay in the paradise. So are you telling me, in order for me to play modes like Islands or Volcano, I've got to pay money. I have to pay on a server to play a game mode. That's not a very good start. I said at the start of my video, the name Pixel Paradise is perfect. And I actually really like the logo they've got going on there. There's quite a lot to learn here. But I, I've seen a lot of people messing around with this boat at the back. So the things you get at the start is you get travel, which is Riptide. You get teleport and you also get profile. So profile, you've got title. I, I, I don't know what that's meant to be. We've also got profile, which is, uh, okay, spleef, spleef, TNT run. Now, I was doing a little bit of research on YouTube as to, as to why people weren't liking the server. People were hugely disappointed that they added this boat at spawn. But it literally has nothing inside of it. Not to mention, it's still got like the placeholder blocks for when whoever built this, built this. Like, th th come on. You got you, First off, you don't put this at spawn. This does not need to be at spawn. Or if it does, it needs to look pretty good. People need to have a reason to want to come to this ship. And I know it's really weird to say because, come on Echo, it's only a ship, right? It's not a big deal. Y you're probably right. It's probably not a big deal. But I still, if I'm still checking out this server... It's my first time. I'm going to be checking out all the things from the start in, in great detail. We have Captain Kira's crewmate, which you really... Uh, hello, okay, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, Mr. Potato Head's advanced, but uh, again, there's still not much going on. <laughs> this is at spawn. This is meant to say the statement of like, hey, I mean, we can't even go up here, bro. Like, are you kidding me? And who is the mayor? Okay, got a pineapple head. I guess it looks pretty okay. What's this? So we've got islands and spleef, and we've got TNT run and volcano. All right, so I think they said islands and volcano are paid, right? So are these paid? Nope, it's taken me to the game. I think this, this hub looks absolutely huge and absolutely incredible. So I give credit there. I think the whole volcano thing looks really, really good. So I like that. It, that's a really, really good touch. I think I would. I, it would look so much better if I turned off clouds. But hey, yeah, that that's a nice touch here. Welcome to volcano. Talk to me. Welcome to the volcano. Here you can explore the volcano by selling materials you gather in different mines. There are nine different mines you can explore, each with different materials. Complete all nine to reach the treasure. Okay, relic process. There's a couple of things to find. Okay, I like that. Oh, hey. We found our first, our first relic. Okay. Let the hump begin. You've already collect this. All right, well, we, got, we, got, we got something to start off with. We've got a guide here. Welcome to the first mine. In order to progress, you will need to mine materials from the mine and sell them to earn shells. You can use shells to either level up or buy pickaxe upgrades. This is like prisons, right? It's basically like prisons. This way to the coal mine. It looks like we have to start off with stone. Okay, I think we've got enough materials to kind of progress here. So a couple of things here. This is level up. You tap on this, you pay a thousand shells, and you move to the next level. This is pickaxe upgrade. Maybe you're happy with being in the stone place. You're able to purchase pickaxes using shells. Stone will cost you 500. An iron pick will cost you 10,000 shells. And a diamond pick will cost you quarter of a million shells. Mining that with a wooden pick would take so long. We also have enchantments, breakable. You have a wooden enchantment, so you can enchant these. Um, efficiency five, which is gold. Uh, it's gonna cost you 500 gold. So if I try to buy this, ah, okay, so I purchased this, right. So I now have this. I wanna see, like, is this worth purchasing with my shells? Now this is gonna break, but I'm hoping 
by the time this breaks, I'm going to be able to purchase uh, the next level. So let's do this. So we're about halfway through this pick, and I kind of want to see what this... I'm not going to lie, it was a pretty good purchase, to be honest with you. So we're going to sell my stuff here and sell this. Right, so we are now able to level up, which is to pay 1,000. Um, but it says here, get Volcano Pass to continue. So you're telling me, in order for me to move to this next level, I need a Volcano Pass. So you're telling me, in Minecraft, which I purchased on a featured server, hey, there's my skin, in order for me to play the next level, What's up, bro? I need to purchase a pass. Wow. Okay, so I've just wasted like an hour and a half of my time doing this. And I'm not even able to progress. Alright, so it says I need to get a volcano pass. I, I think this volcano pass is is over here. But like if you try and go through here, it, it, it literally takes me to this. A volcano pass. So I have to pay to play prisons. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, it says, descend the volcano and explore the mines within. Join the guilds, mine ores, find relics, and learn about volcanoes. Will you solve the mysteries of the volcano and leave with riches, fame, and more? Grants access to the volcano game mode. Comes in at one pound 69, 310 Minecraft coins. It's $2. So this is kind of our second problem that we've currently encountered. Number one, in fact, there's two problems here. Number one, when you first load in, it's like, hey, welcome to the server. But if you want to play some game modes, you're going to have to pay. We had that terrible boat at spawn. And now that I've spent an hour and a half, probably not that long, but spent some time grinding here, I can't move to the next level. Now, so many people are going to have the same problem. But what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to buy this pass. Uh, just to see what it's if it's worth it. You just bought the volcano pass now with purchasing this I'm now able to progress So I don't even think I don't think people hey mr. Potato head. I don't think people are able to complete the relics Unless you have the pass. Hey, would you look at that? Why am I not surprised? I'm the only person here Right, so if I tap on this, you're telling me I've just purchased the Volcano Pass, but I have to buy the pickaxe for 830 Minecraft coins. £4.19. Pretty much $5. Volcano Eruption. This is £13.24. That's 2,720 Minecraft coins. I think this is double the price of Minecraft Pocket Edition on iOS or Android. And Lava Flow Pickaxe, uh, 669 Dude, like this game is going into the same price as a triple A game. Like Call of Duty or something like that. I'm absolutely mind blown with this. So you're telling me? Like, I got the Volcano Pass. What, what what did it what did it give me just access to more mines is is that literally what it is? Okay, so my pickaxe finally broke. Let's let's sell all my stuff I, I need 7500 to get to this next level. So so purchasing Purchasing what I did Right purchasing what I did only opened it to the next level. I am absolutely mind blowing that I purchased a pass and it's only granted me access to the next level. I'm, I'm mind blown. Hey, but at least we found another relic, which you have to pay for in order to get to, because you can't get up here unless you have the pass. <laughs> this game, this, this server, right? Is this server owned by EA? Because I, I am so, so shocked. At how terrible the microtransactions are. So uh, Mr. Volcano over here says you literally have to pay to play. You have to pay to play. In fact, you have to pay to get to the next level. Pixel Paradise, I understand that you gotta pay people. But th this is not how you do things. Alright, let's 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 go to the next thing. This is islands. Surely it can't be any worse, right? On the right hand side. Get an island pass to play. I have to pay 
to play. What's up, ghost? All right, so this is... Uh, I, I can't see it. Get Island Pass. This is Woodcutter. All righty, well, like, what happens if I try and bounce myself through here? It's uh Dude, that is, like, more rejection than when I first asked the girl out as a kid. Bro, that's ter- Okay, so what is this, dude? So this is... So this is... 428 Minecraft coins for VIP pass. Dude, these honestly, this game, this this server is ranking up to over $100. 310, 169. That's in order to play. Okay, we've got harvest, harvest. This is, uh, oh, come on, come on, 310, 169. Okay, I'm starting to see a, a familiar pattern here. This is islands pass. I think this might be the same thing. I don't really know. The server's getting quite expensive now. I'm currently on fire. That's how I feel. We need an island pass. And then what is this one? This is Fisher Get Now. I don't even know if they're all the same thing. I just know that there's, there's things going on here. Free rowing boat never expires. Oh! At least you get a free boat! What does this one say? Never expires free rowing boat. Alright, well, again. Alright. I'm gonna buy this pass so you don't have to. I'm wasting money on this server. I don't even know why. You just bought the island pass. Hey, thanks. I gotta pay to play. That's like 620 Minecraft coins to play two game modes. It says solo. I'm playing alone. I got no friends. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to create a new island, right? Let's create a new island. Collect three logs. The real echo. You have entered your own little corner of paradise. Gather materials to build and grow your private island into your dream vacation destination. To learn the basics of the materials gathering, simply follow our instructions, uh, introductions quest. Hint, follow the instructions on top of your screen. Uh, okay, okay, so we're gonna get three pieces of logs. Okay, so it's obviously, this is a, it's basically survival island, right? It, it's, it's survival island. Well, like, I can download maps and do this exact same thing. Or, in fact, I could play many other servers that have the same game modes. Which I think are completely free. Right, so we need to get some planks now. I made 16. I'm gonna make some sticks. Let's make some sticks for these for this server. It says make a crafting table. Okay, we'll make a crafting table. Get a crafting table. Craft a wooden pickaxe. Okay, thank you. What's in here? Okay, at least I get some free goodies at least. All right, you know, that's one expensive uh, lava bucket there. All right, let's go. We're gonna make a pickaxe. What else are you telling me to make next? Craft uh, mine 10 cobblestone. All right, then, well, I guess we need, we're gonna have to make ourselves a cobblestone generator. But I do see a boat. Interact to travel to the main... Okay, so we can we get in, can we get in the boat? Uh, can, can, can you t like, have I just been rickrolled? How do I get in the boat? This is so laggy. So you're, t like, you're telling me I can't even actually ride this. I literally have to tap on it. You're telling me I can't even get in it? Select which mode you want to play. Single player, island one. All right, so, I, I, okay, let's just, let's just mine this. Craft a furnace. Now, this server might see what I'm doing and all the other YouTubers are doing is, hey, that's free publicity. This is not the publicity any server wants to have. And what makes it even worse is that Microsoft are allowing this. So apparently this is meant to take me back to the main hub and I, I don't know what else is meant to go. Talk to the 11 island merchants. Oh! You finally let me inside my boat. Hey, at least we can get to play this cool mini game all alone because nobody's buying these things other than me to make a stupid YouTube video. I mean, don't get me wrong, this would have been a really cool mini game on its own, but I I'm not gonna stand here and talk to all of these merchants because it, it really isn't it. Thank you so much. So what have I gotta do? Like, I, I just gotta, like, dude, every time, every time I get out the boat, I, 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 I Dude, I can't even get out the boat. That was so annoying. I I'm not talking to these merchants. I'm out of here. Prospector helper. 13 pound 24. That's pushing like $20. <laughs> you want me to talk to them so you can make money from me? I mean, I get it, right? It's it's a survival island with custom things. I think you're able to buy things. Sounds good. We're able to buy things, and I, I get it, alright, I get, I get it. We've got merchants here, so we tap on you again, like, okay, we just gotta talk to all of these. How are you today? Not very well. I mean, I'm able to go to other people's islands, I think. I, I'm not entirely sure, dude, that you can't eat that. You shouldn't be eating that. That's a, that's a rail. Game 6, 33176, 
seven six two nine six you shouldn't be eating that but hey at least this guy's like taking things to the next level but he's like the only one playing because you, you gotta pay to play we all thought volcano was bad i think we've topped it off with islands but hey we have spleef which is free and we have tnt run which is free a little bit of a, a backstory to the tnt run and spleef tnt run and spleef were og mini games for in pvp but hey, at least we got the free TNT run. I, again, it's just, it's incredibly simple. It's a simple game. It's, it's something like, I mean, I don't even know how to use command blocks and I could probably code something like this myself. It's TNT run. It does have custom things here, which I, I mean, I can't even read whatever that was. I don't know if they're custom, custom trails or something along them lines. I, I, I don't even know. I'm just going to try and win this game. So again, I was just wondering why everybody was hating this server so much. And now I really do understand. How can you brand this as like a server willing for players to spend over $100 on? I think Microsoft really do need to reconsider this. And I don't want to say that in a bad way because I know the owners of MPVP. And over the years, they've been great and their servers have been great. But... This is just not the way to go. At least I won though, right? Sorry, Whitefire. This game belonged to me. The best thing on this server by far is in fact the main hub. 10 out of 10 for the main hub. They did a really, really, really good job with this. There is a lot of NPCs. So you've got tour guides. I, I don't know what he's going to do. Grand Paradise Hotel, Pixel Aquarium, Ricky's Bungalows, Belief, and Spawn Point. Like, again, this is, this is absolutely amazing. This should be at spawn instead of that darn boat. And I know it's really picky, but this is meant to set the standards. Bedrock already gets ripped apart daily as it is. This really does not help. Spleef, you look beautiful, but honestly, I know how Spleef works. I'm not even gonna waste my time with this game mode. Pixel Paradise, you need to get back to the drawing board. More importantly, you need to chill with those microtransactions. This is definitely not for the players. This is definitely for people's pockets. That being said, I don't recommend wasting your time with this. There's, some, there's better servers out there. And the last thing I'm going to say to you all here, let me just go back to the featured servers tab. The last thing I want to say is that Mineville has mini games already. There is mini games already inside of here. There was absolutely no need for a separate server. You could have easily put these four games inside of here. I know it's a new server. I know things are potentially coming in the future, but this just really isn't it. You could easily put everything inside of here, inside of here, and maybe it would have been better received. There's a reason why your first server has 947 people on, and this only 2,157. Everyone needs to be competing with Hive, pushing towards 30,000 players. There's a reason why everyone's on this server, and a reason nobody's on them. That being said, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Leave a like and let me know your opinions in the comments section. Catch you next time. Goodbye.